Hello everyone, welcome to English for Grade 6, Study from Home 4. In this lesson, we will study about present perfect with time tables. Present perfect. Still remember, we use the present perfect for an action in the past with the result now. For example, his shoes are dirty. At 8 o'clock, he is cleaning his shoes. And now at 10 o'clock, he has cleaned his shoes. So we can say, he has cleaned his shoes since 8 o'clock. Or, he has cleaned his shoes for 2 hours. So 2 hours is from 8 until 10. So it's about for two hours. You have done workbook page 14 in the last meeting. Now we will discuss it. If you still remember, the correct order of the picture is binoculars and then black flag and then treasure chest and then coins and then banana and the last hoop through their binoculars the children watch the pirates sail away they also see another ship with red shells and a black flag when they look to the north they see a bigger island with a town on it then they go to the dig up the treasure after two hours, they find the chest, which is full of gold coins. While they are deciding what to do with the treasure, they see some people with children arriving. They bring coconuts and talk to the people, who explain that the pirates have stolen their coal. The children show them the treasure and give it back them. They tell the people to go to the town on the other island. The people then leave. Later at night, three pirates and their prisoner arrive. They are looking for the treasure. But they, they only find a big hole. Alex sneezes, and the pirates find the children. The pirates want to know where the chest has gone and they threaten to throw the children into the hole. Then the light appears in the hole, so the children jump in and escape. Now, in this workbook page 15, you will find the box full with the words and some timetables. Okay? And this timetable is based on the story about Three friends, Phoebe, Alex, and Patrick. Okay, for example, start from 8.45. So, the first is, the children arrive on the island. After that, at 9 a.m., the children watch the pirates burying the treasure. And now at 10 a.m., the pirates finish and leave the island. And next, the children start digging for the treasure. At 1 p.m., the children find the treasure. And then at 1.30, the children welcome the families to the island. At 3.30, the children say goodbye to the families. At 8 p.m., the children go to sleep. And at midnight, the children hear shouting. And at 12.15, the children jump into the hole. Okay, from the table, we will answer uh, activity 2. How to do it? Look at the table. Look at the red box. 
Number one, it's 9.45 a.m. The pirates have been at the hole for and since. Okay. For the answer, 9.45 is about in the red box. At 9 a.m., the pirates were at the hole. Now, at 9.45, same with the question number one. So, they have been at the hole for... Okay, from 9 a.m. until 9.45 a.m. is 45 minutes. So, the answer for number one, it's 9.45 a.m. The pirates have been at the hole for 45 minutes. Now, let's answer the second question of number one. Now, at 9.45, so they have been at the hole since... Remember, since is the beginning of the activity start. So, it starts from 9 a.m. where the pirates were at the hole. So, it's 9.45 a.m. The pirates have been at the hole since 9 a.m. Okay? So, let's answer number two. It's 11.25 a.m. The children haven't seen the pirates for... Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Now, look at the table. Look at the purple box. Okay. 11.25, it's in the purple box. Okay. 10 a.m., the pirates left from the island. So, the pirates went away at 10 a.m. We can say it's uh, when the pirates left. Okay. Now, at 11.25, so the children haven't seen the pirates from 10 a.m. until 11.25 a.m. is... 85 minutes. So the answer for number two, it's 11.25 a.m. The children haven't seen the pirates for 85 minutes or 1 hour 25 minutes. Remember, 1 hour is 60 minutes. Okay, let's answer uh, the second of number two. Now at 11.25, so, the children haven't seen the pirates since, remember, the pirates left the island at 10 a.m. So, it's 11.25 a.m. The children haven't seen the pirates since 10 a.m. Okay? Now, now, let's listen and read the text from student book. This Roman helmet with a face mask is about 2,000 years old. It's made of copper and it's sold for 2,281,250 pounds sterling in London yesterday. An Englishman with a metal detector found pieces of the helmet in the little village of Crosby Garrett. At first he didn't know what it was, but then he showed it to experts. They put the pieces together and were excited. The helmet is a wonderful example of Roman art and extremely rare. The Roman soldier with the curly hair is wearing a cap. On the cap there is an animal with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. Experts think that the soldier did not wear the helmet when fighting. They think he wore it during military parades. There are only two other similar helmets with face masks and they are in the British Museum in London and in Edinburgh's Museum of Antiquities. Every year thousands of objects are discovered by people with metal detectors. But people who go walking or who work in their yards or fields also sometimes 
find interesting objects. When you find objects made of gold or silver that are more than 300 years old, you have to report your find. You usually get half of the money if a museum buys the object. The other half goes to the government. After listening the reading text from student book, now your task for this week. Your tasks are 1. Workbook page 15, activity 2. For this task, do like my explanation before. You must connect the time before and after. The second task, will put page 16, activity 1 and 2. For activity 1, put the correct question words in the blanks. Question words are what, who, why, when, how, how much, and etc. For activity 2, just match the questions in activity 1 with the answers in activity 2. That's all for today. Thank you for your listening. See you next time. Goodbye.